Yo, what's up ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. So in today's episode, I decided I'm gonna basically go Enderman hunting. It's because, you know, last time I tried to, also I should probably already collect some, cro uh, those crops. It's about goddamn time that I, um, place the new ones and, you know, let go. Yeah. But as I was saying, last uh, episode, I lost all my stuff when I died, yes, that is true, but I also visited the nether fortress, obviously just uh, that, because uh, I was looking for blaze rods, what else would I be looking, right? But, uh, of course, the blaze, that's not, if you want, if I want to finish this game, uh, obviously, the blaze rods are not the only thing that I need, another thing that I obviously also need is the none other than ender pearl so of course i think that then you get the blaze powder once you combine both of those two i think that's why it's called i'm probably you probably you guys are all laughing with me right now uh yeah so um, overall i'm trying to i'm trying to um uh, create myself the eye of ender so we can finish this game all right down we go in the storage room so yeah okay so i close the door so i'm now with, okay so i need to save all the carrots in the food area and the potatoes as well I, oh that's a lot of potatoes I, I better get cooking right now here we go also another thing that i should be smelting is the iron because i'm gonna now uh, spend a uh, lots of it again because of course i lost my stuff again and now i'm gonna have to basically start all over again so yeah this is the second time when this happened to me it's painful but no pain no gain i literally just said echo quote also let's check uh how uh okay so the potatoes okay uh, i eat potatoes that's not bad i'm gonna keep those 10 raw for now i'm also okay the iron is melting all right goody goody all right so now i have 20 baked potatoes Alright, so I already got myself the iron leggings, which is pretty nice. You know what, I'm not, since, just so I won't be ba wasting everything, because I don't actually want to save my iron. I don't want to uh, spend too much of it. I will, uh, okay, so, oh, boots, uh, but I will create my, because, you know, I will create it like this, so I will have the golden. And the reason why I'm doing this, because I always do it, because next time we'll go to nether, I won't have to deal with piglets again. You know, it's kind of smart, instead of me spending another iron chest plate, that's just a waste of iron, then I'm gonna, even though I'm pretty sure that I also have another golden leggings in uh, my chest, right? Yes, I do, but still, it's way better to do it like this way, than just being stupid and do it like most people will do here you go i think i, I kind of forgot how i don't actually i don't know how you make it oh yeah never mind i actually do know how you make it but yes anyway i'm all set for this episode i also got today today's episode i will be eating baked potatoes also since i have so much cookies i should also grab myself some of those cookies i can literally just grab one stack first of all they're useless Mo cookies are mostly useless in minecraft and second of all, I don't need so many of them. Now before I just go into Enderman Hunt, I will also, I decided I will also check a few of those achievements. I obviously done both of those two, the guest one and the bird one. Well, I'm only missing another energy enemy. There will probably be, there will obviously be at the end. I haven't really found uh, any of the tridents yet. So I will not probably not complete those two. I, I'm just basically trying to complete this game, not here make, being a perfectionist all right so i done the uh, where i had to shoot in an arrow i traded with a villager and so with the uh, okay so i can i can actually do this right away so i'm gonna uh, maybe i can do the shoot crossbow one okay so i did the slip one this one is a little bit too much and this one uh i want uh, i mean obviously i can play the jukebox so i did it but i have to do it in the specific biome and i'm not just gonna go in that biome just so i can complete this achievement now i've done Okay, so I killed a guest with a fireball. I, I explored the Piglin Bastion, I did all that netherite stuff, Grand Obsidian. I also did distract all piglins once with, a sh with my shiny gold. And obviously I brew already water beating potion, a fire system potion, and there's even more. Best friends forever, glow and behold, blah, blah, blah. There's even like an the enchanter. We need to go deeper, not today, thank you. I can also do the diamond one. 
I'm, I'm probably gonna collect a little bit more diamonds till I start making my own diamond armor. I'm probably not gonna do this one, and then obviously I'm gonna do this one I'm once I'm gonna fin uh, fin start finishing the game. However, for now, I guess I will be focusing, I'm just gonna do one of those, uh, because, because I can easily do one. I got this obviously from a pillion bash, and this is my only crossbow, and now... I kind of want to test out the special arrows because I honestly, if I'm being completely honest, I have got no idea how those arrows work. So I better just try them on, you know. Alright, and here we go. I'm going out to hunt for Endermen. So hopefully, uh, I will find lots of them. Hopefully, uh, this is not okay. I'm probably this is probably a terrible decision making. Look at, I mean, just look at how many maps are there. Uh, so this is how I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm gonna basically the best way to find Endermans is basically by channeling by water, especially when uh, everyone knows that Endermans are afraid of water. So what I'm going to do is create myself a boat and then I'm gonna do what I have to do. All right, I'm all set. So I will I just created a boat. Okay, so why can I place my boat? Hello. Okay. That was so huh? I couldn't place my boat for some other reason. Okay, I'm gonna now test out how the spectral arrow works. I'm gonna test out on those two zombies. Well, oh, I see. Okay, I completed this at night, man. It's that I wanted nice. But, uh, but, oh, I can see. It basically then gives you that x-ray to that you, that uh, then you know. I think that that's why, I think that that's the reason. They, they basically give you that accent and then, that then you know, God, my English accent. But then you know oh, where they are. The spectral arrows give you that type of X-ray. Anyway, uh, uh, so now my mission is to locate Endermans and sh uh, uh, track them down and kill them. There's a big jungle area right there, by the way. Maybe I should go right there. Oh, it's so far I have been basically to the jungle. Hopefully I didn't just get... I must also watch that I don't get lost. But I haven't really located any of the Endermans yet. Uh, so I think that... I don't know. I'm gonna try... I'm gonna do it like this. You know, that's probably not a great idea. I'm gonna... But I'm gonna step out of the boat and try to basically locate them on land i know uh, that i will probably get damaged by a lot of mobs and i don't like that i in fact i hate it but i think that uh, i have way more uh, chances of finding one um like this than just traveling with the boat this whole time i can also collect uh, the good thing is that i can actually collect uh, lots of gunpowder uh, uh because i am literally now in more like in a creeper land i i, I said to god the mobs that I see the most are the creepers, so I should probably also be, uh, it's probably a good idea to, well, they, they explode faster than I thought, but maybe I can still collect a few gunpowders, you know. Alright, I'm gonna try to hit one right there. Okay, so, okay, that's actually pretty useful. It even, it's even more, more like, it, it's like more like an advanced x-ray, like it gives you that vision. Don't explode, Jesus. Those Things are so explosive. Well, at least the, the other creepers are killing themselves, and then they are, uh, the other ones are dropping the ground powders. But look at those things explode so quickly. Well, at least I'm I still get, get kind of gaining ground powder, even though I'm at the same time I'm us using losing lots of it as well. Here we go. Now I guess I'm going home. I'm, 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 I'm this is useless. I'm not going. At night, I, there's obviously no Endermans in this night whatsoever, uh, at least in my world. So I need to think of something, something that where Endermans, where, where, where could most Enderbees, Endermans be found in Minecraft? I need to think it that way, not like just go in the nights and hope for luck. That it's probably not how it works. I need to think. Where, where can most endermans be found? Alright, so I th thought about it. I kind of got lost in a way uh, for real. But uh, as you can see, it's literally daytime. So I, I basically sur survived the night without sleeping. Hopefully my guy isn't tired because of this. But anyway, I've I done some thinking. And I think the uh, most endermans can be actually found in a warped 
uh, I think that uh, the, it's called I forgot what you know the crimson forest those are the red ones right then there are those blue ones are they called warp or something wait let me check what I called yeah I, know, I knew it warp forest so I need to go I'm, I'm, uh, I, I didn't really thought that I was gonna visit uh, nether in this episode but I guess I'm going to now I'm gonna visit the nether and try to look for endermans in the uh, warp forest I think I saw I think that there is a one warp forest really nearby and hopefully that I will find a few endermans because this is where endermans are far the most all right so I think I'm all set especially when I have this gun chest plate which, which, which was a really good idea that I would make it uh, so now I'm basically heading off very okay so this is where I put in my boat I should probably make it make like a pair and then where I could do now uh, leash my boat I think that's how it's called uh, you say it I don't know I'm, I don't know what I'm talking about so my boat uh, just doesn't escape or uh, this one I think that's I, I, I'm probably talking nonsense right now but I'm just I just want to make a pair where I could leash it so you know it will make it more look like more realistic but anyway okay I must also watch out that I do not jump in lava or like you know like a stupid man also yes I was right look at that there is literally one warp forest right there what could be better than to actually visit it right okay so I must now watch out for every single mob even hoglins I don't think that hoglins are in this kind of biome you know that's just only in crimson forest but still uh, there could be anywhere, you know, they could be anywhere and here here we go finally I found myself my first Enderman in this episode. So this is probably it seems like it is a very small Warp forest. I'm not gonna lie. Also, where to go? I mean, I know it teleports I'm, I know I'm probably just an idiot, but still also, okay, how I'm gonna defend myself if this guy is going to be Right there on top. Do not look him in the eye. Do not look at him how am I going to defend myself like this? There is no way possible that I can defend myself. Okay, what? I'm just gonna screw it. Um, this is probably a terrible idea what I just did. Okay, uh, and I got myself a first enemy. So let's go. Uh, this is the bad place to actually do this. Why? Because uh, it's just that it's not this place is not high enough because I literally. Uh, I, I what I want to do is obviously do it like the um, old-fashioned way where we'll just do it like this and then do it. I always do it like this it's the best way to do it uh, to kill endermans but this war forest is not that great it's a little bit small and it's not high enough it literally has this uh, ceiling uh, above it so what I'm going to do now is uh, basically go save this ender pole that I just got and then I'm gonna go back into the nether and continue searching for more warp forests all right here we go I'm coming back I uh, might as well eat some more cookies I'm, I, I swear to god I'm like this like an eating machine like I already ate 14 cookies in total in this episode like and one baked potato which is just insane like can you stop eating so much Jesus this guy is always hungry Alright, so I think this is where is this is where the pickle bastion is, right? Yeah, I'm uh, now obviously I'm not gonna go inside it, but if I'm being honest, I do need some glowstone dust. I mean, not really, but I do not. I, I'm pretty sure that I don't even have the nether core. Maybe I do have a little bit of this, but I definitely do not have any of the uh, glowstone dust yet, and might as well collect it while I still have the chance, you know. Alright, so uh, this I'm um, hopefully that I do not fall and die. I don't, I, really, well, I don't, well, it depends where I would land. If I would land on lava, then I would basically die. But I will most likely not land on lava. I will hit the ground or something. But still, let's try not to fall down onto the ground, alright? I do need to watch out for the hoglings, though. They are probably in pain in the butt. Okay, so. Oh god. This is actually very dangerous. I mean, I know that the nether is a very dangerous place. Also, I must... Okay, uh, this guy is tough. Okay. Yep. Yep, there are lots of hoglins right there. This is basically what I like to call a dead area. I can run past him quickly. I must do it quickly, though. 
okay and now well this is probably a terrible idea i think i need to okay i'm gonna do it like this go 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 up okay i'm a good now i think i think i am there's also a skull man right there i'm running out of blocks which is just great i don't know what to do i think i'm going to die okay i think that yeah that's probably enough okay i i, I hope that's enough because now i will ouch that hurt okay so okay can hold this okay i don't think i'm, I'm uh, hopefully that i'm safe it doesn't look like it though you know what i'm screw it i'm gonna do it like this just for my for just for the sake of safety and now uh, okay <laughs> i can literally see my, my shoulder this is basically how i do it while while i'm in crouching mode so let's now I'll build a nice little safe bridge over there hot to our destination sec yeah I mean, that's not bad. I completed another advancement in this episode. Okay, so now let's see what this soul sent value. Hopefully, there better be something worth it because I, I did not just uh, come to this area for nothing, right? At least, hopefully so. Okay, so basically, the soul sent valley had nothing to offer. Nothing really that special. I, I thought this nether was uh, really the best place, but now. I started to feel like this nether is kind of not a blessed place anymore. But in another case, there are be almost no world forests or soul sand valleys in this nether at all. At least, um, uh, as soon as I spawn in uh, throughout nether portal, there's, there's barely like any world forests or soul sand valleys. Like, it's just sad. The things that I'm mo looking out for the most right now are literally... Uh, not in this nether at all but at least uh or if you, if you look this nether worked into the bright side i found lots of really unique stuff in in, in the piglin bastion which this world literally had the best piglin bastion ever it is literally behind my nether portal uh now well, i guess i'm gonna actually you know what just so i will leave i won't leave empty empty handed i will i guess i will collect a few of those soul soil or oh, now I can, okay I, now i can craft wait how do i make it how do i make this uh all right so how do where is the freaking maybe i need the crafting table but okay so i'm gonna also collect the a soul sand maybe i will need it i don't know it's mostly used for wither and probably some other things that i don't really remember right now but maybe i will need it so i'll be collect this uh, a little bit as well also if this soul cell is used for soul stone torches then i will also collect this all right ladies and gentlemen boys because as you can see i finally arrived home yes uh, finally out of the heck okay so uh, uh, right before i will finish this episode i will also see how to craft the soul stone torch because i was curious how to do one because i also don't, I got no idea i know already uh, everyone else probably does know by now but i'm just stupid because i don't know so i will okay so i can also create the soul st okay so for this one i need eight iron ingots and one soul torch for this one either one soul soil or one soul sand i can literally i can literally like replace uh this regular fire a campfire with literally a soul stone fire that's just amazing also well, okay the last thing that i need the most is okay so for this one i need it's basically like an upgraded version of the torch advanced version the only difference is that well also the soul sand can do it uh so i don't i don't need either the soul soil uh just to make soul torch i could also just use the soul sand but i guess both both do the job so i'm good but i'll be recording this episode for quite some time now so i'm finishing right there hopefully you enjoy that finally we didn't die and lose all of our stuff but in another case i will see you all soon